Hi guys, Howard here with Lola from the Kinks, none other than the Kinks. And uh, I'm just doing this out on acoustic guitar with a couple of the uh, electric lead breaks in there. Uh, most people will want to just strum this one out, so I'll focus on that for the most part because there's lots of that in the song, right? But there's also uh, quite a bit, especially in the beginning of uh, the picking. <laughs> Just random kind of picking away like that so feel free to do that if you want to but again I'm gonna focus mainly on the strumming because I think that's what most people will want to do when they play this tune so the first thing we have out the gate is a C chord with a G in the bass and you want two down strokes and then down up down up And then when you move to the D chord, you want to attack that chord with an upstroke. An upstroke and then a downstroke. Like so. And then we land an E major chord. And that's where some of the uh, picking comes in. And you will hear that picking pattern at the beginning, so we do want to cover that. So we hit that E chord with a downstroke, and then using just the first three strings from the bottom up, we play up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. A little cross-picking pattern three times in a row. And then on the last one, we play the first string again with an upstroke, then switch to the G string and play two downstrokes across the G and the B string and end it with an upstroke. So we have And that's the intro. And then the vocal comes in, and like I say, you'll hear some more picking, particularly at the beginning. But what we want to do is just attack it with the strumming. So the strumming is going to be pretty loose. You sort of have to sing the tune in your head while you're playing it to just kind of find your pocket with this. But I'll give you a, uh, a couple of strumming ideas, and you can kind of take it from there if you want to. basically doing this just straight alternate strokes right but putting those accents in there so you've got those three downstroke accents one two three with the two upstroke accents at the tail end of it and that will really get you through most of it uh, to be honest but you can vary it as much as you want so let me play those accents again just greatly exaggerated so you know exactly where they are hiding out I think that'll get you through it as I say and will sound quite nice so let's talk about the chords okay for the verse we've got E we've got A and we've got D okay and it goes like this And so on that last A, in fact, those two accents, the upstroke accents, whichever way you choose to play your A chord, okay, but slip the B string up to the third fret for that A sus chord and back. So we have... So we're going to play through all of that again, minus the A sus little movement there, and we find our way back to the C chord where we play basically the intro again. I'll uncover. 
include that in there, okay? So hopefully that all makes sense. But before we get to that, let me play that entire first vocal part. And then we jump off. You can keep strumming the E chord if you want to. You can just go. And then start the next verse, right? So you can sit on the E chord if you want to. But for those of you who would like to play this, this is pretty cool and fun to add in there. So I'm just going to put the tab on the screen and play it really slowly. Uh, I chose to slide this note because I'm on acoustic, but you can bend it if you want to. Or if you'd like, kind of hitting it twice if you want a little bit more movement in there. Or, either way is cool and fun to play. So once again, And then we make our way to a kind of mini bridge, if you will. To me, the song has two bridge sections in it. That's just the way I see it. So after we finish the lick, So we've got a B major bar chord, several of these puppies through this bit. And uh, I'm changing the accents a little bit just to capture what I hear on the recording. So you've got two downstroke accents followed by three upstroke accents. And then finally a downstroke at the end. So we're gonna move from B major at the seventh fret to F sharp major at the second fret, okay? And then we're gonna move to A major at the fifth fret. Take the middle finger off to make it an A minor. Very English, if you will. So here we go again with the uh, whole section. And then it's back to a verse with sort of like a double chorus at the end. Let me play that for you, and I'm sure you'll, uh, you'll pick it up. So I'm sure that's easy to pick up on, but uh, let me run down that sequence for you uh, anyway. So we have E, A to D, back to E. Then we go A, D, C.
into what is essentially uh, another bridge, a different bridge, okay? <laughs> verse okay so uh, I'm playing the A chord like that I think it's a quick way to maneuver these chords so it's just A C sharp minor and then B major okay so the A and the E just get that one downstroke a piece and then we've got a little bit of strumming going on on the B chord so that's down and then hit it with an upstroke after that and follow through so you get that up, down in there. And then down, up, down. So we have. And you want to play that three times. And of course, feel free to vary the rhythm of the strumming, you know, just, just make it your own. And then we play E. G sharp minor, C sharp minor, and then finally that B again, and we play those like this. So you can see on that C sharp minor that I played that same strumming pattern that we just used a second ago on the B chord. And then we hit the B chord. And you can pretty much just strum that out however you want to. I'm kind of using a similar pattern to what we did earlier. You know, anything like that will do or just, you know, punk it out if you want to. So that whole section then is played like this. And then it's back to the verse again, uh, and they play it just like they did earlier on in the song. But they do play that mini bridge again, which is kind of cool. And then you can hear that they just loop the chorus out at the end. But I trust that you can listen to the recording for the uh, specific arrangement. So there you go with Lola by The Kinks, a really cool, fun song to play. I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson, and uh, thanks again. We'll see you soon.